All right, folks, today we're making these amazing looking hot dogs. Three versions with your hot dog toaster. It's time to fire up the hot dog maker toaster. <laughs> the weather in Germany during the past weeks was awful, so I decided to buy a fun tool on Amazon. This one is called a hot dog maker or hot dog toaster. Not very expensive, but it was fun for a Sunday afternoon. It comes with this part for the sausages and two spaces for your hot dog rolls. The dogs that can be used inside this hot dog maker should not be too thick or too long. So these basic wiener here are doing a perfect job for that tool. Add some brioche buns and toast them. Of course, it's possible to uh, adjust the heat and the length of the toasting session. I just started on lower heat and see how it works. Then I have my taco holders, which is a perfect tool for making hot dogs. Add some ketchup and mustard. Of course you can use Danish sauces if you like, French onions and sliced pickles. This is my first basic hot dog. Now I kept going and I experimented a little bit with the length of the heatness. All in all this works pretty good. It was fun and I took this maker into my office and now I'm ready to make some of these hot dogs just in the breakfast or at lunchtime. And again place them inside the tucker holders. In this case we have a whole kitchen inside our office so I decided to caramelize some onions and some crispy bacon in the meantime which is part of the topping for the second version of hot dog. Looks amazing and I love the combination of caramelized onions and bacon and of course good caramelized onions will work everywhere. I also diced some of that sliced pickles just to put them on top here too. I like the acid, the saltiness and the good thing is that if you are using this hot dog toasters there's no real mess, no problems with pots and water. Just easy two hot dogs in three minutes. Sprinkle over again some ketchup and mustard and then I experimented a little bit with the space for the buns. Now I folded them up a little bit and see how this would work too. Yeah it works but not really good you have to press them down gently and you will now see that the top part of that will be burned a little bit. Not really a big deal but the other version is quite better. Now you have some little bit more warm feeling inside the hot dog buns. And I decided to make a chili cheese version with diced tomatoes, some Doritos just crashed inside the bag, grated cheese and some sliced fresh jalapenos. Of course you can use uh, pickled jalapenos, I have them in my office too all the time. And then place them, if you have, if you can, in the oven just for melting the cheese a little bit. Maybe I'm a little bit cheating for you if you don't have a kitchen inside your office. But here's the result of a chili cheese hot dog with a nice crunch from the nachos. Three versions of a hot dog maker done within minutes. Can't wait to hear your thoughts about tools like that. Sometimes I like uh, buying some stuff and it was really fun over that uh, ugly weather afternoon on a Sunday in Germany. And of course, as always, I ate all of them. Yes, leave me a comment and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. I would really appreciate your help with the international channel. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm out. See you.